Hi, my name is Alexey, and today I'm going to introduce you to improved configurable product extension for Magento 2. The extension has been developed and is supported by Firebase Studio. The extension represents a huge set of enhancements for configurable products. It has been developed to make shopping experience faster with a quick reference to product attributes and provide Magento B2B segment with a comprehensive tool for convenient bulk ordering. In addition to the mentioned extension features, Firebase Studio offers free installation and assistance with setting up the extension. I will leave all the links in the video description. But first, let's have a look at what extension does to the product page and what has been added in the latest release. And talk about how the extension can improve your store. Now, the aim of the extension is to reflect attributes of a currently selected child product at the product page. We're talking about product name, SKU, page URL, and others. Now, with the reference to this extension scheme, let's navigate to the actual product page and see how selecting product options affect product details. So here, as I will be changing product attributes, pay close attention to page URL, product name, product SKU, and the description block. Now, as you can see, whenever I select size and color, the details are updated accordingly. Say we select size S and color gray. And all of my choices were highlighted in the product name, product SKU, product description, and page URL. So what's so important in updated product page URL? First, it's quite obvious. You can provide your customers with a direct link to already configured product. Second, you can take advantage of this feature for your AdWords campaign to promote particular child product. You can also use such URLs for your banners, blog posts, etc. The use is really up to you. So the latest release has added the same functionality to the category page. Moving to the category page, you can see that whenever I select uh, size or color, the product name is also updated. Not only that, if I choose particular product options and then decide to move to the product page, my choices will move along with me. Let's select size M and color gray and click product image. As you noticed, the product page has been loaded with size M and color gray already selected. It can be pretty convenient and save lots of time of extensive shopping. So what about when customer wants to visit product page without selecting any options? Well, in such cases, you can define the default child product to be pre-selected. To do this, we navigate to the product options. We need chess kangaroo hoodie, and we need it to be configurable product. Now let's move to it and proceed to the assign simple product grid that should be somewhere here, just right below. So here the extension has added a new column, the default. Click the radio button next to the product you want pre-selected and that's it. Say we want hoodie size S color orange to be pre-selected. Now, we hit Save button and we move back to the category page. So it may take some time to load. Well, when at the category page, we will see that the size M and color orange have been pre-selected for this very product. Here, sizes, I'm sorry. So you might have also noticed at the product page we have a price range displayed along with the single item price. This is also improved configurable product extension. So what the price range does is it displays the range from the lowest to the highest prices of all child products assigned to the configurable one. If we move to the extension configuration screen, which is stores, configuration, now, Firebear Studio, improved configurable product. 
we will see a number of settings, each either responsible for a particular block or for its position. Here we can decide what product details we want updated and set a reference block to them in case we are using custom theme for the store. Say, we can specify whether we want product name updated or not, whether we want product SKU updated or update product description or short description. The choice is up to you. Now, as for the price range settings, we can find them at the bottom of the general settings, right here. So you can see that we have full control over what we want displayed. Say we want the price range displayed at the product page or category page, or we want native price block displayed. So, or we want it to be from to price format, which is actually right now enabled. Let's disable it and have a look how the product page will be displayed without it. Now we reload the product page. And as we can see, the price is now displaying from the lowest amount without the highest price of the child product. Now, another important feature introduced in the latest release is configurable product matrix view, which is especially useful for B2B stores. Let's enable it in the settings and see what it does. Right, now, when I'm at the product page, you can see native Magento color swatches. Once we reload the page, this will be changed to the matrix grid view. So what do we have in the matrix grid? We have available quantity of all child product. We have a stock status and we have tire prices we have assigned. Now, the matrix is one of the most important features for the B2B stores. For example, if you are a supplier, most of your clients want to purchase products in bulk without tedious option select. Say we want 10 items of size S color gray. We want 20 items of size M and we want 50 items of size L. And we can add all three sizes to the card as you can see here. And matrix view does just that. It speeds up shopping process, making it a matter of few clicks. Now that covers matrix functionality. So the extension has also been integrated with base price extension by Mage Nerds. What base price does is it allows you to display price of the product for a unit of volume. In some countries, this is required by law. So we wanted to make sure every store owner has an access to the extension. You can find more information on the base price module at the product page. And this is all for improved configurable product extension. Hope the introduction was helpful and you now have a better understanding at what it does. More information with demo store links and sample data can be found at the product page. You can also find an introduction to improved import and export extension on this YouTube channel. So stay tuned to the latest extension guide, subscribe and hit the like button. I will leave all the links in the video description. Uh, by the way, if you are not yet familiar with Firebear blog, I advise you to take a look. Reviews of the best extensions for Magento 2 from all extension developers, comprehensive comparison and code reviews, and much, much more. Don't forget Firebear blog, check it out. And that's it. I will see you guys next time.